My job this morning is to give you a sense of the port, but much more importantly, to give you a sense of what we're trying to achieve. The first thing I would just want to emphasize is that our call for artists to work with us and to commission works is not patronage as such. So we're actually looking to the arts to help us to deliver a message that we're not able to deliver ourselves given what we are. We're engineers, we're accountants. And I'd be very hopeful and optimistic that you will find things today, facets of the port, and that you will feel open to respond to those in whatever way that you think is going to get the message across. Hopefully from the ideas that come, we will bring forward some live projects with a view to getting them implemented over 2017. Within your packs, you will find this map of the 12 different sites that have been earmarked for installation or for use for creative projects by Dublin Port. There are 12 locations marked, some of them small, some of them large, and all are available for creative inspiration. So this process today is designed to get to as much of them as possible, but also to give you a very unique perspective from the river as well. And I know that you are going to have the most fascinating tour of Dublin Port today, having done it on a number of occasions. Okay, good morning everyone. Nice, beautiful morning on the River Liffey. So we're going to just head off down, heading east. On your map, it's, it's, it's mark number six. So uh, it's a busy, busy area here. But this is where most of the development is going to happen on the ABR, the Alexandra Basin Regeneration Project. So a lot of work will happen around here within the next year or so. So we're just going to turn now into Alexandra Basin. Straight ahead, dead ahead, is the Odlands building. These are kind of open for, for some kind of ideas to come across. Then you'll see the blue crane then. This is one of our cranes, not in use at the moment. It's a piece of industrial machinery that can be used or could be used at some stage. So now we're heading up along on our right hand side, starboard side, you'll see South Bank Key. So we're just coming up now and you see on our starboard side, the right hand side, the white building is the Half Moon Swimming Club, but it was also the Half Moon Battery. Yeah, so we're going to take a turn around and then as we turn around you'll see the Poolbeg Lighthouse. The lighthouse itself is a, a navigational aid, so the external piece of it you can't, we can't do too much about, but uh, internally there may be some ideas around that. Then ahead of us then, you see the red and the white building there, it's Terminal 1, so uh, it's an option, it's a, a passenger terminal building, so there's options around that. Okay, so we're just going through East Link Bridge and then, and you'll see along the key, the key walls, so the face of the key walls themselves could be an option. So then we're going to head on up and you'll see the, the diving bell as we, as we go up on the, on the port side. We're, we're going to disembark here and the coaches should come around and pick us up. So you see there's that security wall that runs down along and the fencing that runs down along Alexandra Road. That's something else that, you know, if, if someone has some ideas around, it, it could be used. So today we had 86 artists that come into the port, gave them a presentation. Now they go away now and come back with their ideas and hopefully we have a great perspectives for next year. Mm -hmm.